Yeah, so um, hello and welcome to the stream. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna be uh, gonna be uh, taking a design that uh, one of uh, the designers on this project have made and uh, turn it into a full-fetched uh, model sheet, so that um, the design can be modeled and textured and yeah, taken into 3D. Um, so it's also we're also gonna solve some some design issues and and just fleshing it more out. Yeah. So let's take a look at it. So yeah, here we have it. Uh, this is uh, this is a design that was made by one of um, or yeah one of the uh, character artists artists on the project called uh, Thomas Thomas Anker Fastholm. Um, so yeah, he is a, a badass warrior type knight type dude called uh, Damian Fay. And uh, yeah, so he has a nice uh, shining armor and uh, the sword and the shield, and yeah, he looks really badass and tough. It's pretty cool. So let's get started. Some music. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna create a new document. Take um, this guy here. I'm just gonna cut everything else out and uh, take this guy into the new document here. And maybe also the head. the shield up for now and uh, yeah just concentrate on the character himself just gonna make the cameras a little bigger so we have some space to work with Don't judge me. 
Government housing for me. Living in government housing. Living in government housing. Okay. So yeah, these guys are ready to to work with. So I'm probably going to make him a little bit bigger than uh, the original sketch uh, that Thomas made. Um, just because uh, we're going to need uh, some detail. So yeah, something like this size here. And then I'm just going to take this dude and... Oh shit, for suppressed. Oh, sh damn it. That happened a lot lately. Uh, I don't know why. Sorry about that. Gonna make sure to save a lot then. Just gonna go over this quickly again. Just gonna save this. And it just happened again, okay. Wow. It's really bad. Sorry again, guys. Okay, I'm probably just... <laughs> I'm gonna work in this size then to begin with. No. I don't think it liked me copying the layer or copying the character. That was weird.
Okay, so let's see. Um, last time I did this, uh, I I used another way to um, to make the helping guidelines, but uh, this time I'm just gonna be using this simple way, and then I can show you that. It's really just uh, holding down Shift and uh, dragging some lines across here. Uh, in the other one, I used the um, what's it called? The ruler to make the lines. Uh, yeah, some of those uh, overlays. So yeah, okay, first off we're gonna just make these a little bit uh, more invisible, like that. And then I'm gonna make uh, a really quick sketch uh, of him, just uh, you know, from the directly front view. Uh, he's gonna be straightened out uh, to be more symmetrical, or totally symmetrical. We're just uh, going to start off really rough, so don't expect something gorgeous right away. I'm just looking over at the, this drawing over here and seeing where to match things up and just going along with it and not caring too much about if it's um, a little bit off here or there. Just trying to get some stuff in so I can see it in relation and see how things work together. And I'm flipping the canvas from time to time to check up on check up on uh, how things look. Uh, get a fresh view on uh, everything, basically.
So I'm trying to get these awesome shapes right that Tom has created. Actually, I'm not going to do them like this, I just found out. Because he's going to be in a T-pose, so this wouldn't work. And that's going to be a bit of a challenge to see how the uh, shoulder pads are going to work in uh, the T-pose. here, him standing with the arms out to the side. So yeah, that's the beginning. <laughs> it's gonna be good, I promise. Right now it just looks like shit. It's okay. Just gonna flesh it out slowly. And then let's see how the shoulders should work because when he lifts his arms, he should kind of follow in a way. Let's see. That's the, th the thing that looks, it, it looked kind of funny when in this pose because his shoulders uh, shrug up in that way. So yeah, it's a very unnatural pose for a character to have uh, the standard T pose that you model in, but uh, you're gonna have to make it work. What some people do though is that they make um, a kind of midway pose. They do it uh, something like this, like 45 degrees. Uh, they're gonna rig that way so that every um, every joint is kind of like halfway in between their outer points. So yeah, in the in the middle of their rotation. Um, that works really well for some, but uh, that's not exactly how our rigging pipeline is gonna work, so... So yeah, we have to make this work.
Let's sketch in really quickly here. Okay, so maybe he has a little too long arms here. Checking where it's gonna, gonna be when it's relaxed. It's still, I think it's still a little too long. I'm gonna reach the kneecap here. So. Yeah, normally I would, I think I would select it and just transform it a little bit in, but. I'm so afraid of Photoshop crashing again that way, so I'm gonna do it like this. And by the way, I'm gonna save. Let's try and press our fingers and duplicate the layer. That worked, okay. Let's transform it. No, actually, let's... Um, yeah, then it crashed again, okay. God damn it. I don't know what's happening right now. Jesus, and I can't even uh, restore it. Good thing we saved it. Um, so can we duplicate and this? Yeah. Okay. I just don't think we can transform. It's so weird. Okay, so now we got this weird thing. This is just gonna serve as a sort of a guide. So again, I'm just gonna raise this down a little bit. 50%. Now we have the rough forms, and now I'm just gonna go in with the, not with that color. Maybe, maybe this color. I'm just checking everything. Yeah, it looks okay. Alright. So yeah, this time I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Actually, I'm gonna make 
make a new layer, I think. Still being pretty rough in this stage. As you can see. I think from here into here, it's like a, a head big. It seems about right. I'm just gonna save again, just to be sure. We don't lose our progress. Yeah, so everything is a bit tilted.
I'm just gonna s draw things in this start. Or in the start, oh, sorry. I'm just gonna draw things in this side to be honest. Make him a little slimmer than the first sketch. in because it's not a dress so yeah his legs are more spread so it makes sense that uh, this goes out yeah he's yeah, standing more well a t pose so Like that, yes. Okay, let's see if we can save and duplicate and move it over. This, I think. Now it's and now it's actually beginning to look like something. I don't watch, but it looks like something.
Okay. You know what? I think this could actually work pretty well. Yeah. I wanna make the, this part here a little wider. And also the legs. Feet a little bit bigger, so it fits better together with his hands. They are basically just uh, refining on things here, making it a little bit better each time. I think now it, now it feels good. Now it feels like something. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that everything's uh, straightened out. So. Take this other color here and see here should well this should be here and here. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah. eggs come down to here. Around here. Maybe we should move the legs in just a little bit. That's gonna work. So, guess that the legs goes up to out here. Like that it can work then. The same as um, the other body. So I'm just looking for this point here and saying, okay, so the legs are so and so long. And if I move this up, that should be kind of equal to the other body and the head. So, and it is. So I think that proportionally we are basically there. I don't know if the arms could be a little bit longer, maybe? Yeah. 
think that his hands could be a little longer. That's good. Okay, let's um, save and duplicate. Move it over. I know now the lines get really thick, but um, that is fine. Erasing up the hair, so that's still like this asymmetrical. Thing. Okay, yeah, good. Merge these two, and that's gonna be the base. That we start the real uh, line art from, and where we're now going to go into um, more uh, detailing with this. But before that, we're going to make uh, a side view that is um, in this stage as well, and then we can sort of uh, switch between those. Um, yeah. So, but I'm just going to take a small coffee break now and get some juice, some coffee juice. Energy juice, um, yeah, so something like that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we'll... second, yeah, I'm gonna be back in a few minutes.
All right, guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, so I just uh, got myself a cup of coffee, so I'm good to go. Um, yeah. So uh, to those those of you who are new to this uh, stream and to the channel, um, yeah, this is uh, for a game called uh, Battle Souls. It's being developed by Pixel Leap. And we here at uh, Second Studio take care of uh, the graphics for it. So, uh, yeah, let me just go into Photoshop again. So yeah, and uh, the game is called uh, Battle Souls, and uh, this guy is called Damian Fey. He's a warrior knight type character. Really cool, and he can um, bash his enemies with his uh, epic shield here, and yeah. So, so let's see, now we've got the front view sorted. In, uh, in this uh, sketch, sketch state, sketchy state. Yeah. So let's get on with the side view. So I have a layer here, here that I don't use, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Yeah, let's extend the canvas a little bit. So we can get some space for for the side view. And we just extend all this stuff. And crash. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. That's yeah. So okay, I'm not gonna transform anything. I know. <laughs> Sucks. I think it might be because. I've experienced this a couple of times uh, since I updated OBS, so it might, I don't know if it has something to, to do with that, but... Uh, yeah. It's been a long time since uh, something, something like that happened, so... Okay. I guess... Uh, I don't know if we can uh, if we can transform without having any selection to it. I'm just gonna try that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just can't select stuff and transform it <laughs> without. Nah. No. Okay. It crashed anyway. God damn it. Sorry for this way. By the way, can't help it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we don't need that gray box. <laughs> We're just gonna figure it out anyway. So uh, let's see. Let's see, we're gonna do it without the gray box. So let's get on with the side view.
Oh, sorry, I just got a little bit distracted. Let's get this amazing music going again. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think it's uh, that's not working. Let's start more rough. Was uh, a little too distracted right there. Gotta get into the zone again. Um, Yeah, what I'm doing, I'm, sometimes I'm just, I need another line to sort of help me out. So I just draw one temporary, temporarily, uh, by pressing shift and just dragging. And then I just know, okay, right here uh, is where the color is gonna end. So I just uh, control Z while hovering over it and just place it down. It's really easy. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna draw his torso first without the shoulders on top. So he's gonna have a really uh, heroic torso here. Breast first. So this seems to be working out. Um, let me just flip. 
little bit. Um, okay, so I want to do some stuff, but um, I can't use the transform tool, so that's. Hit a little backwards. Let's just get this um, back of his hit, and the heel should sort of be aligned. Uh, but maybe I can move the legs a bit forward. So I think I think the torso fits fine right now. Um, now it seems a little more balanced. But yeah. Just drawing some lines to check these well centered, well balanced. Seems so. So now the shoulders, or the shoulder pads. Go down to here, about here. Okay, okay, I make, just made a big mistake. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta focus. Yeah, I gotta have some more coffee to focus. It's also getting kinda cold, so... I need to hurry with that. Okay. Um... Okay. Yeah, I need to. I, I focus too much on, on the view. This view over here. I should focus on this one because I already planned it out how the shoulders should should uh, should be how they should be turned. So so yeah. Okay, but his arms are gonna be here. Right. I don't know. Fold up a little bit here. So it should be something something like that. That's the shoulder. That's where sh the shoulder connects. So. So we have this gap up here. That's gonna connect down to this part here. Rest. Then it kind of goes up to yeah, kind of up to the top of his head actually. 
So in the side view we're gonna cover most of his hit uh, with this piece here, so... That's fine, we can see his hit here, there's something to go for. As long as we get his profile, that's uh, kind of important. Looking too much over here. Kind of wrapping down to here. Yeah, okay. Now he's got so much weight up here, I'm gonna have to push some of it forward. This. And then I'm possibly also gonna have to move the, the legs back again. Just a little bit place where they were before. It's this, so we sort of compensate for other weight. There's some crystals on it here. Okay, I think I'm just just gonna move. Heck, I'm gonna have to move this a little bit forward actually. I'm gonna cover his head, but then you know I have to make a separate head sketch, I guess. I think that's fine. He just looks a bit silly from the side because his arms are like that. Um, I 
Okay, that looks fine. Okay, let's let's go with this. Let's go with it. So I'm just gonna turn down the opacity a bit and then I'm gonna go in with this color here and make it solid. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, I'm not uh, talking that much. Uh, I'm concentrating. <laughs> but uh, feel free to. Feel free to ask questions, I'll try to answer them. Get some volume to that uh, shoulder piece here. Feel kind of massive. Massive.
Side views are always hard, I think. Hard to make them look good. This should actually connect in the middle of this, so it's gonna be go up here actually. Yeah. And then we're gonna have something go down here. Something like this. Not that I should focus on that detail that much, but uh, right now, but uh, let's just get it in there. I know the uh, know the music is a little weird, but uh, it's royalty uh, free, so you can uh, so you can see the videos here afterwards as well um, with the sound and you can hear my few comments here and there. So yeah, if you want to go back and uh, replay this thing, it should be possible. So yeah, immediately this becomes a little bit more um, detailed, a little bit more refined than, than this one, but I think it's because when you're doing the front view, you have to always um, mirror things over on the other side and then you get this kind of thick line here, but um, yeah, it's just in the beginning.
So yeah, let's make sure this kneecap looks right. Okay, and then Thomas may have nice details here and the shin. I'll try to get that in. Hello, greetings there, the Arasen, <laughs> the Arasen. Welcome to you. Game it this. Nice to have you here. Any of you guys haven't uh, watched this uh, stream or this channel before? Um, it's uh, the design here is uh, for a game called Battle Souls. It's being developed by Pixel Leap, and we here at Second Studio take care of um, the graphics, most of the graphics. So um, yeah, it's a really interesting project to work on. It's a third-person action-based shooter class-based shooter, so you can switch between uh, classes while you are playing. Okay. Then uh, you you play as two teams, or there are two teams um, in this, uh, this kind of battleground where you have to uh, overtake uh, each other's castles. detail in here, the round thing that Thomas designed. Pretty cool. It's just, yeah, make it real quick to so that we remember it when we do the final lap. Could do it that way. Let's just let's just do that. That way we have some detail on both sides, and we can reuse some of the design work. It's clever.
Again, if any of you have any questions, I'll be glad to try and answer them. Okay, so the shoulder here, the shoulder piece is actually turned a little bit, so gotta make sure that we convey that in that you know thing that points upwards here. Something like that. Okay. Okay, and a place where there's a lot of detail is actually the arms. So I wish that I actually could have the arms here in the side view, but I would just. Um, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't work well because. To be able to see it right, I would have to just arm um, drop, and then the shoulders wouldn't fit anymore. And yeah. <coughs> so maybe we'll do a separate one for the arms. I'm not sure. It depends. You can also just find out um, as we go and as we model. But we have a lot of stuff to look at here. We have this view and this view and this view. Well, not for the arms, but uh, for the rest. So I think we are okay. I think we're good. Oh, there's still the crystals. Can't forget those. Okay, that was just really rough to put in, but yeah. Yeah, so if you put the arms in and put the shoulders down, I think it should should work. Okay, good. So let's say that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna move this side view over here and move this one back because now we're gonna work on the front view again and this time. I just wanted to be close to this uh, this other this illustration that Thomas made because I can catch some of the details pretty quickly just by you know at a glance looking at it. Um, so and we're not gonna have the salt in there, so I'm just gonna erase that. I broke your sword, man. Erase all this. Need this. Okay, cool. I think these can be turned down a little bit, and then gonna make a new layer. And here we're gonna make the actual. So I'm looking at the faces right now. I'll try to put that in. Maybe I should make the canvas bigger. 
for the image bigger. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it 6,000. 6,000. Yeah. And I'm just gonna move this in as long as we work on the base. You can see everything at once. Kinda nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna change about this is Right here he looks really angry and pissed, <laughs> which is good for the character, but uh, in this uh, model view we, we're gonna wanna have the, the face look pretty neutral, uh, so we can do all sorts of facial expressions uh, when we get to rigging. So I'm gonna level the eyebrows a bit more, level the mouth a bit more, you know can really see it here, but um, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. But of course all people have like a, a, a neutral pose that is not, you know, totally, totally neutral in that sense that, you know, some people and they relax, they look a bit angry, and some people look really happy when they relax, so maybe this guy is at best a little bit, best always, just a little bit. Yeah, I'm still drawing a bit loosely. It's just to stay relaxed and uh, and yeah. So, but I'm gonna make this um, this stage. I'm gonna make it a bit more detailed and uh, and yeah. Then uh, then I'm gonna go in and clean it a little bit.
think the nose needs to be a little bit big, a little bit bigger. Face I could just do as I'm gonna do with the wrist, you know. Destroy it on one side and then when I'm done, mirror it over on the other side, but I kinda need to see as I go how how the face looks in its uh, whole. How this expression works out. So I can speed it. the stream. Maybe I'll wait with that because I'm I'm gonna duplicate at one point or mirror at one point, so it's gonna wait for that. This guy has a lot of uh, chin going on here.
Okay, right now he kind of looks like shit, but uh, don't worry. Then turn it around. But yeah, those uh, neutral faces are kind of hard to uh, to make. Make them look good. So, um, but I'm. At this point, I think I'm going to save and then... And then I'm just going to duplicate it. Do this. I think his face looks a bit, a little bit... Um, more narrow here, this one, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I uh, figured it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase the hair up here, because it's fine as it is. Just going in and adjusting because I know this will work now. This is fairly, fairly symmetrical, so this I'm not gonna mirror this again. I don't think I have to. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush here.
Excuse me. Let's get it going. Sorry, guys, I don't have um, don't have more music right now. I think, yeah, maybe I can. Maybe I have some more of this quality free shit. Uh, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna be better. Than, maybe it's gonna be more cheesy. But we can just put something on here. Let's let's do that. Let's, let's see how this goes. Can I fast forward in this? I think, uh, I think Peter will answer your question uh, via Ram, via Razan, but uh, I guess it's the same game. Yes, okay. <laughs>
that's an impressive beard he has going for him here. I'd like one of those. <laughs> Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Yeah, so I think this is uh, gonna work out. And when you're ready to wake up, kill. If you're not ready, you're gonna stay pretending that you're just a little, poor little me. He just woke up. Just get got out of bed, so his hair's a bit messy. It's fine. That's like me. Uh, yeah, some, something like that. I think. Yeah. Which you're not serious about. But I assume you maybe you are not serious but sincere. That you are ready to wake up. Okay, so I think that basically we're gonna have to move a bit faster with this thing. Um, but what is good about this is that I can just uh, I can make, just make a new layer, and then everything I do from this point on I should be able to just mirror onto the other side. Well, that's at least what I'm gonna do. So. Save. 